Don't do more than one click. It's kind of hard, you guys. I think it's hurting him, Mom. Hello, Hello and good morning. Oh my gosh, you guys nailed it. I had to start the day because on a free dress day, I just love when you guys get to choose what you want to wear, how each individual personality comes out. Like it could not be more individualized today. We've got Rye Guy, a little bit fancier with a jean jacket, the button up shirt and the jeans with the visor looking good. We got Crew, the motocross savage. We've got his new brand new Husqvarna rockstar hat, his Crew 12 hoodie from his sick joggers. And then we've got Mr. Puerto Rico slash Disneyland with his Puerto Rico tie dyed sweatshirt, his Nightmare Before Christmas shirt, swag hat, and also his joggers. You guys, I love it. Look at this. Every single individual person I've got a Rye Guy, a Kruby, and a Brexy all right here. And then Hazy, still in her PJs. She has dance later today. Yay! <laughs> But you guys, today is a very special day because we are getting free dress day today for donating some cans to school, but also, Kirby is getting his expander placed into his mouth with a turnkey to stretch it out. Crew, are you ready for that, bro? Okay. <laughs> At least you look like a savage to get started. Hello and good morning everyone. You're getting this again. Day two, it's almost the full day two. No makeup again today. I can't wear makeup until tonight. At that point, who worries about makeup? Let's just do it tomorrow. What is Thursday's, Hazy? Dance! Dance day. We're gonna bring unicorn to dance today. There is something that has to be noted. We are getting the first official snowfall at our house today. I don't think we've had snow yet. Got it on the windows. It's coming down out there. I don't think it's anything that's gonna stick, but it definitely, ooh, you can see a little bit on the grass. If we're getting snow, you know that means it's cold enough to snow, kind of. Fun. I went out really, really, really early and got my oil changed. I was there at seven. Then so I woke up at like 6.20 to get my oil changed. Who does that? Me. Because Toyota gave me two years of oil changes when I bought my car. I drive and go do that early in the morning. We are gonna head to dance. As exciting as dance is, that is not the most exciting thing happening today. The most exciting thing happening today is little Mr. Crew is going to complete his very first step in his braces path. He is going to be getting his expander placed in his mouth. He has gone to two separate visits, making sure everything's getting fitted and working out just right for this expander to fit inside his mouth. This is, from what I've been told, the piece of hardware that they're gonna place in there and you have a little key that you turn and that is going to eventually widen the top of his mouth to make space for all of the giant teeth that are coming in. He has these little teeny tiny blue expanders in between three different teeth. One fell out the other day so I had to put it in and I was having a really hard time. So I finally got some rubber gloves, made it so it wasn't so slippery, slipped it back in there. I think he's ready to rock and roll. He might be having soup this weekend, maybe a lot of applesauce, making it so it is not so painful for him to eat. You guys are gonna come with us, of course. Tell them what you got after dance today. Big Pixie's stick! Woo! They usually get some sort of treat after they're done with dance, and today it was a pixie stick, and they are super happy. One of the girls said, it's sugar! It is sugar. Mama needs some sugar. Hey, sugar. Yeah? No, sugar. I have to go check her out of school in about 30 minutes, so I'm gonna take you. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> we just barely got home, and Hazy, what did you say? There's lots of snow in our ground. There's lots of snow, there is. Unfortunately, this is not the kind we can play in yet. We've got to get a little bit more. Yeah. Do you love it? Are you excited? Like a, like a giant. So we can make a snowman, huh? Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's so fun. Just drop Hazy off with dad. They might be coming a little bit later to cruise appointment. I am just getting in the car, gonna head there, and you guys, I just saw one of my friends, and she's like, oh, are you tired? Do I look that bad? Yes, she don't feel like I looked that bad with no makeup, but today I feel like it shows I'm a little bit more tired. I did not get very much sleep. I went to bed at 1 a.m. and I woke up at 6. So I didn't get much sleep. Apparently I look like it. We're just gonna rock this day and we're gonna rock cruise braces. So I'm gonna go pick him up right now from school and head over there. Like I said, Brandon might be coming today. He might be able to. That'll be a lot of fun. I just really picked Kruby up from school. He is wearing his awesome hat. I didn't get to see you guys before school so I didn't know what you ended up wearing. You're wearing your really awesome sweatshirt. This is crew on the back and your cool hat. And he was like halfway through his lunch. He's gonna quickly eat that while we drive there and then he'll have to brush his teeth before we are seen. Hopefully there's a toothbrush in there is one. I brought one. Good. It's right here. I'm prepared. Okay, let's head there. Okay. Kirby, my car smells like a corn dog right now. Mm -hmm. We just barely got here. Dad and Hazy came to join us. This is the first time I've been to any of these It's a whole family affair, Mom which done how many of these? is always awesome, but Dad's sometimes just a little extra everywhere what we go. What does that mean? <laughs> so if I can keep Extra me awesome? Okay, his appointment started two minutes ago. Oh, that's good. We've been waiting for Dad. He just barely got here. He rushed down after working. This is Brandon's very first time coming to the office at all. He's really excited. Crew said to me today, I was dropping off for school. He said, Are you coming to this one? And I was like, Well, I hadn't planned on it, but it's actually at a time that I could make it if I bust my butt. So I busted my butt and I made it and we're here. Expander time. Small bit of a hookup here. Hookup, no, not a hookup at all. Hang up, we came in here. They had his appointment rescheduled for the 25th for some reason. Mom called and asked if there were openings. Oh, hi. They have it. They have the device? Yeah. Can they fit it in today? Yeah. Okay, well, that's the update, you guys. So mom had called to see if there's a possibility of moving it, if there's any openings. And in that conversation, somehow there was a misunderstanding that she actually wanted the appointment moved. So we showed up today. They don't have any record of his appointment. He wasn't in their books. And so we were like, oh, shoot, what are we going to do? So they checked to see if the device is here that they're actually putting in the expander. Because if it's not made and it's not here because it's not scheduled to be here today, we couldn't do it. Just found out that it is here. We can do it today. So we're moving forward as scheduled. Mm -hmm. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, Kirby, they're taking them out. I had to put one back in. Were all of them in there? It looks like we might be just missing one, but yeah, that's not bad at all. Good job. It was harder than I thought it would be to right? put it back in. I like had to put gloves on. It was so slippery. It felt like the real deal. Yeah, that's gonna go on the top of your mouth. Wow. It's gonna clean it off. Are you ready for that? No. Looks pretty intense, huh? I'm gonna have you help me now, okay? I'm gonna have you bite right there for me. Good job. Bite right there. Perfect. Good job. It was sliding in pretty right. good, huh? Now I'm gonna have you bite. Right there. You're doing good awesome, job. crew. Bite right there. You okay? Mm -hmm. Bite down again. Good job. You're doing amazing. Bite. He's easy doing a good job. Perfect. Bite again. You're being brave and tough, dude. Bite. Sitting okay? Yeah, it's great. Oh wow. Holy cow, How does that feel? There. <laughs> You're gonna talk, talk funny for just funny. a few days, okay? The, okay. Best, the best, no, you're not done. No, you're not done yet. <laughs> not the best thing easy. to do is go home and read a book out loud and just train your tongue to talk with it in, okay? Drink lots of water, learn how to drink with it in, because you'll notice once you start to drink, you're gonna feel like you can't swallow, and it'll just retrain you. If not, we can always get you a bib that you can yeah. wear. <laughs> they were just trying it on for size. They did see that it fits, so they're gonna take it out now, put some tooth glue on, and then shove it back up. Okay, here's what I thought was crazy. He's gonna talk funny, have a hard time drinking water. <laughs> You're gonna have a hard time swallowing. I was like, wait, is he gonna be drooling? <laughs> the recommendation though, go home and read a book out loud. So homework taken care of for today. Done. So glad I got to finally come to an appointment. What did you think of that when she put it in there? Uh even hurts when it's on because these teeth are super crooked. I'm pretty sure it's sitting on those teeth. Biting is clearly right, one of your talents. Biting. Well done. <laughs> Put that on that long list, okay? Motorcycles, biting. Motorcycles and biting. Mom's getting the instructions on how to turn the key here on this thing. So I'm gonna get it lined up really quick. The hole is in the very front. So I always hook it there so I can retract it. Okay. Needed. So you just stick the key in the hole. You kind of go back towards the back of the mouth, kind of like you're flipping off the light switch. But you're gonna feel some pressure here, here, and in the bridge of your nose, okay? You good? Mm -hmm. So then you just go back towards the back of the mouth. And your new hole is up here in the front, ready to go. So you just take that key out back there. Oh, that's all. It's not too bad. Maybe like your second to third day, it might get a little bit tighter. So then after we do the seven days of turning, you're gonna come back and see us. We always check them to see if they need any more. There's the keyhole in there. You're kind of tender when you bite into things, and what you're gonna notice is a space in between your two front teeth. We want to see that. When you come back next week and we say, oh, awesome space, we mean it. We will okay. get rid of it. We want it right now. There's a few things that you need to know too. This is a Christmas tree toothbrush. Kind of is just shaped like a Christmas tree. And after you eat, you'll want to take it and go up on the roof of your mouth, kind of brush the food off. Then take a drink of water, swish it around really good, and spit it out. Try to get every piece of food off at the top of that, okay? You still have a little bit of glue on the bands. I'm gonna get it off so you don't have any on there. And then I'll let you go rinse again. Can we do, so we just found out about how to turn it. We'll tell everybody about that, how it works. But we found out we're doing it not once a week, but twice a day, two holes a day. So we got some ideas on that one. And then how do you take care of it? You're just telling us. They have this so toothbrush this that after every time I brush or um, eat, I have to clean off the top of my mouth. And then they give us some wax that I can put right here to make it feel better. Dude, does it feel like you're talking weird? <laughs> I have to go like that. Much. Your little goodie bag, okay? Do you have any questions, bud? No. Okay. Well, you guys have an awesome Thanksgiving. Show them the key, because this is like not what I thought it would be. What so is this that? is like the snake. key. Yeah, so you put your finger, your pinky through here and then hold it on. You put that little tiny metal piece inside the roof of his mouth. I'm gonna take it and do one click back towards his mouth and she says it stops there. So I was thinking we would turn this like once a week. We have to turn this twice a day. Two clicks a day, bro. I said it's every day for seven days. It's going to be 14 whole clicks further than it is right now when we come back and get it taken yeah, off. Yeah, she says whenever you come back, your front teeth should have a gap between them. And she's like, that's good. That's what we want. We want your teeth to have room. Wait, will he this. have that taken out after those days or does it just stay in that hole I position? I think he'll keep this for a while and then we'll do a round of braces. We don't know. We're figuring this thing out. What did you think of that, bro? Already talking a little funny. I can't wait to see you try and swallow some water and see if it just Say, out of your mouth. my name's Karun. I'm going to go back to school. My name's Karun. I'm going to go back to school. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that weird, but it's honestly... Wait, but don't, don't don't like slurp all day because you just he can't swallow, how to swallow his spit though. Know, he's he's like, trying and he can't. He's doing. 
But dude, I know it sounds stupid to say this, but it sounds like you she have something you in your mouth. She told you you're gonna have to it's retrain you yourself how to swallow and drink. She also said to go home and read a book out loud to just learn what it's like to talk with that thing. Your tongue is bouncing off of that earlier than it would off the roof of your mouth. So it's gotta learn how to talk with it in there, basically. I can feel the keyhole. You can feel the keyhole? Mm -hmm. Crew, dude, you're a boss. Fresh off your motocross awards, rocking the motocross sweater, rocking the new hat, looking like a savage. Talked to him about motocross while they were in there. Shared some names of some of their favorite riders, which I thought was pretty cool. She asked, she said, now is he pretty tough? It's kind of awkward. Like if you weren't, it'd be kind of embarrassing to say you're not but mom said he's probably our toughest kid he said well then you can just do two cranks at night and let him sleep on it and he doesn't have to deal with it during the day doing a crank in the morning and a crank at night so we might just do two keyhole twists at night send you to bed dude what do you think man are you ready for this yeah so does stuff get stuck in there like is there cookie so a good pieces idea to do is it? anytime you eat just take a glass of water swish it around your mouth and then just drool it right back out and then do this <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that in class, your teacher will go crazy. <laughs> so exciting that I could get to be there for that. It's very different than I thought. Very nice office, like super posh, super nice office. Loved it. Incredibly friendly staff, orthodontist was a total rock star. Who, by the way, makes sense, has perfect teeth. They're like the most amazing teeth I've ever seen in my life, but it makes sense that he would have those. This braces journey has been so interesting. Like there's so many things that are new now from when I had braces, probably new from when you had braces. They had braces around whenever you had them? <laughs> they put wooden planks on your teeth <laughs> and then you would just nail it into the tooth. Really though, it was very cool to see how the technology has advanced and some of the things that they can do. So much like maintenance and care that I kind of just totally forgot about. Like he's got this brush he's got to use, this wax or he's got to put on. we didn't do because maybe we, we didn't just, want to. Maybe we just skipped it. That's not an option, kids. You can't skip no, it. No, there's no option. Back to school now yeah. uh, with his new expander. We'll see how he does in class. He's going to try and talk, going to try and swallow, and try and not do this the entire time. We're winding this day down. We were actually watching a Christmas movie here on the couch. Promise we're not skipping Thanksgiving. <laughs> but it snowed today, you guys, and the snow inevitably put us more in that mood, in that spirit. So I watched a fun little Christmas movie on Netflix. But the time has come now. Could we do? End of day one with the expander. How's it been? Uh, it doesn't hurt at all. That's fantastic, guys. I hope it continues to feel that way. I will say today he came home from school, read out loud to me for 30 minutes, and I loved even more that on top of reading, he would explain what was going on in the story and just allowed him to talk more and more and more, which I think was fantastic. He's still talking really funny, but... <laughs> <laughs> now is the fateful time. The first in-home key turn. Here it is, the key. And here's mom, the key master. Ah, mom, you <laughs> lost it on the first try. You've never done this at home. What if I poke the top of your mouth? I have no idea how this works. I did not understand it when she did it, so I'm actually excited to see how it works here at home. We're gonna give it one tweak, one crank, what do you call it, one turn. It goes one click, let's call it one click okay. for tonight. Hey guys, we called in the recruits. We got Brexit Doodle here because this is gonna be like a four person job every time. Cruz is the one who's gotta have the key turned. Mom's gonna turn the key. I'm gonna video it. <laughs> and Brexit Doodle is gonna shine it's a light in the mouth. family affair. I'm pretty sure we'll get a little better at this. All right, oh so here gosh. we go. Now mom, take a little bit of time here and tell us what's going on. Okay, mom, so I can see it now. So what do you do? Oh, let's see. I can't see it now. So you go and find the little hole, right? I just I'm afraid to like poke it. I'm gonna hurt him. I'm, like trying to put the key in and it's like. So far not going so good on our first time here, guys. I oh, hear stuff. It's going in. Don't do more than one click. It's kind of hard, you guys. I think it's hurting him, mom. There we go. Did it do it? Mm -hmm. Did it hurt? No. That was kind mm -hmm. of hard. So when I put it in, I expected the key to go in straight and it kind of went in at an angle. I was a little surprised. And then I kept turning it so far backwards and it was like in the back of his mouth and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna totally gag him pulling this out and he didn't. He was super awesome. Are you sure you did it right? You saw her do it. You did it right. I, I didn't hear any clicks. I feel it like spreading. You can feel it spread out? No way. I didn't hear anything. I don't know. I, I don't think it, it made like noise. Turn. It's not like a... So how do you know it goes a hole? You can see it? Yeah, and it stops. Like I pushed until it wouldn't push any further. Should we do it again just to make sure? Yeah, let's, let's do, do it one more, one more, one more. Oh no, no, oh my gosh, you're so willing. No, not one more. It's only two a day for seven days. Seven. Anyway, <laughs> could we do my man? You are handling the expander. He was like really brave. Like a rock star. And he said, so he had the one crank today and he said it didn't hurt him at school. Yeah. Now I know that's probably maybe like beginner's luck, whatever you want to call that. Well, I'm sure as it starts cranked more, it will hurt a little bit As more. it gets more spread out. So we've said this a few times, but it's two times a day for seven days, which is gonna be 14 turns. And then we'll go back in to see the, the orthodontist. We're gonna go in a little bit after a week because that actually lands on Thanksgiving. Oh nice. So we'll go in at like a week and a half and see what they say. She's like, I'm betting after a week, they're gonna have you crank it a little bit more. A little bit further. Nice job, buddy. Now we got Ryler and crew full blown into braces. They both got metal in their mouth. They're both talking funny. We're gonna wrap this vlog up. We love you guys tons. Thanks for hanging out with us today. Come back today, tomorrow, every day. We got the weekend coming up. It's gonna be fantastic. We got a very special Mindy's family here for Thanksgiving. So a lot of great stuff to come so back fun. for you guys. And smash the like button for Crew We Do and his expander. He's gonna handle it like a rock star. We love you, bro. Love you. We'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.